and there's something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Nobody, that's just Cyrus. He's the guardian angel's chorus. Don't mess with him. Hey, what are you doing with that backpack? Welcome back to Chrono Trigger Plus. Previously, we completed Frog Side Quest. We got the Masamune too. We got a whole bunch of Paradox Box items. I left the, the weapons just sitting there and the Nova Armor because I'm not really going to be using them. And now we gotta move on with our day. We got some more things to do. Frog can take it easy for a while. He got everything he needs to get. I also bring Robo and Luca. Now it's kind of ladies' night, but Fiona has a problem. Someone's decertificating this entire area, and I'm not quite sure what happens to Dorino. Maybe the desert eats them, but I don't see anything in 1000 AD that would indicate that. We just head into the sunken desert. That, that desert is looking pretty sunken. This looks like a time a job for Unga Bunga. So this is a really small area that's just packed with battles. Case in point. Also, I forgot, I didn't want to bring Luca here. I wanted to bring someone with water power. Also, Drono is here, as usual. But here's, uh, Sir Crawley's ancestors. At that time, I got it right. We're also going to be doing Luca's side quest, so that's why I have Luca on the brain. These side quests are a little bit on the shorter side. But Isla's here because she does fantastic physical damage. And we kind of need that right now. In this area. She's particularly good at the boss. Uh, uh, yeah, we were hitting Drono because Drono killed the enemy on us. Thanks, Drono. You receive punch. Regroup here. Isla, don't drag us into the middle, that's where the battles are. I want Marl. Yeah, I think I've gone insane, but I want Marl. Frog's taking a break, we need a water magic person. And Marl fits the bill. And she's pretty good at healing. I mean, she is the best healer. But this is going to be happening uh, quite a bit. I don't want a Dino Tail. Dino Tail is terrible. Tail Spin, on the other hand, is absolutely fantastic. One shots these hexapods. Drano just had to have his say in there. Yeah, you need water magic. Marl has that. Also, she needs some tech points because she's like the only person besides Robo that doesn't have her ultimate. She doesn't even have her next ultimate, her pen ultimate. These chests will have, like, Aeon suits and elixirs. I'm going for the Aeon suit and the elixir. And there's triggers right against the chests. So that's fun. So that's kind of fun. Anybody want to get close to Isla? Come on in! I mean, Isla could take the beating for a little while, at least. We don't have Max Cure on Marl yet. But we're working on it. These enemies have quite a few tech points on them. About 15 each. I just don't want to do all the battles and grab all the chests, because a lot of them are just poopy items, like potions, and, ton uh, and tonics, and ethers. I keep on forgetting, they call it Potion in this game instead of a tonic, because they wanted to be more like Final Fantasy. I'm just gonna grab the good stuff, like the elixirs. And we can top everybody off. Everybody is topped off. Good job, Marl. Our goal is coming down to this area. There's earthquakes going on here. Let's just walk in place on the sand. Well, Zombor shows up. That's totally Zombor again. I thought we killed him. That means he's going to be popping up randomly. Hopefully I could grab everything without getting into a battle with him. 
That way I don't have to do it later. How about over here? It's really hard to navigate on sand because it's pushing you in every direction and you can't walk against it. You gotta run against it. But we did grab a memory cap. And a muscle ring! This one thing I forgot to mention before. Ozzy Pants isn't an accessory. It's a helmet. Yes, you wear his pants on your head. And it auto-confuses you, but it's the best armor in the game. You can't make yourself immune to confusion either. So they're also the worst pants in the game. And Muscle Ring, it adds muscle tone, but it works on a robot. I'm gonna give him something else. There's the Power Ring. If he's going to be the physical damage healer, might as well give him some physical damage. I don't think we grabbed any of those before. Our turbo ethers. And money! Now we gotta fight the boss, who's just surfacing. There he is. That's totally Zombor. With an eyeball on his stomach. So he has an extra part now. That makes him the Retinite. Okay, uh, thanks, Drono! Drono kinda... sorta did us a favor? Retinite has 1000 HP on his core. Now, usually what's supposed to happen is... he kinda leave the core for, like, the second thing. Because it allows you to drop the defensive power of Zombor. Drono is like, no. Drono is absolutely like, no. Hopefully we can do it anyway. Yeah. Not quite sure if that's just a glitch in the original game or a glitch in this ROM hack, but you can still drop this defense by using ice on him. And he will bring up his defensive power whenever you hit him. Which is why we brought Isla, because she hits the hardest. And Robo could keep the heals going. And it's basically just like an ice version of the Golem fight. That seemed raunchy. Also, it outright killed her. Jeez. Retina is going into overtime here. So I, I was not expecting Drono to just like go straight for... Uh, go straight for the core like that, and absolutely destroy it. But hey, this is what ethers are for. Hey, this is what life waters are for. Now this turn to suck in a hurry. Luckily, Isla is pretty strong. But she is getting ganged up on by people now. By people, I mean a skeleton. There's my life waters. Did you do some shadow damage? She heals from that. Yeah, thank you. His elementals are either fire or shadow. Don't kill Isla. Oh good, that didn't kill the Isla. This will probably wipe us. Oh, nope, it healed. We're just stuck in some kind of cycle now, aren't we? Drono, why, why did you do this? I don't even remember hitting Drono after this. Alright, you know what? I, I'm gonna have to rewind it. Okay! Let's try this again! With Ledge Drono murdering the core! Drono's still gonna murder that core. I'm gonna just gotta be a bit more committed to healing the party. A haste would work too. My entire plan has been ruined thanks to Drono. But I was going to do is soften him up with ice. While he was busy trying to drain health from his core like he usually does, I would work on this top section here and work on that. Try to kill that. It has about 5,000 HP. But 
but no, he's gonna stick to draining people now instead. This is the Drono Redemption arc now. Drono has to make up for past mistakes. He is latching onto that Retinite like nobody's business. No, he's not glitching out. He he's being... He he's being responsible. Yeah. Look at him go. So I gotta change my tactics on the fly now. I gotta make sure he's iced up before Isla goes at him. Because, yeah, water... Ice hardened sand, too. It just takes a little longer. Alright, good. Well, that's out of the way, and that's the biggest problem we have. Otherwise, it's just a sand cyclone that starts stealing people's health, and that's about it. Drono caused this problem. I'm gonna let him clean it up. This is how broken Drono can be. Because he's so broken, he could actually break fights. Like, really hard. Gotta make sure we got enough kicking power. Speaking of power, we also got the Zuzi Punch. Might as well use that as well. Give him that power ring for a reason. He does some pretty good damage himself. I'm proud of you, Robo. It's all about technology today. And Oonga Boongas. Sometimes the legs will increase his defense, sometimes they won't. I'm not quite sure why. But Retinite is dead. Caused us some problems there. Caught us in a loop for a little bit. But I guess we can let Drono live. He won't sell him to the scrap heap. Who stop the deserts from happening. That's good. Though, we do lose all these items once we fix the desert. But oh well. It's not really like this much here. Actually, I think the enemies might have left. I have chest. Isla, get chest. No, not that chest. Ew. Talking about... That chest, ah, this state is terrible. This state is absolutely terrible. I hate it the most. It must be Thursday. It's almost Thursday. Any more battles? No, but we do have a power tab sitting out here. Right there. You saw it shining there, didn't you? Yeah, it's a full ether and a lapis. It's, it's not all that great. But this desert isn't going to fix itself overnight. We're, we're going to need some help. Isla got killed by a skeleton man. It's going to take centuries to get this forest back in order. Oh, that sucks to be you, I guess. Robo, what are you talking about? Uh, sure. I think he got his dialogue a little confused. Another thing I'm irritated about is that Retinite, if you could steal his core, like charm it, you could get a speed tab out of it. But we know where we could buy them now. Look at Robo go! That's excellent! Also, why is there a Luca in the party? Because Luca knows. We'll do Luca Corona Marl for a little while. But Robo's going to be hanging out here for 400 years, tilling this forest. And working on it in various other ways. Like sowing the seeds. And being a scarecrow. Yeah, he could turn into heavy farm machinery somehow. I'm not quite sure how we could do these things. Never mentioned it to us. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a harvester, and that doesn't really work at the moment. But, yeah, we're just gonna let him do his thing. We're gonna head forward in time. 400 years! Let's see what Robo accomplished. Wow! Okay, this is definitely gonna be a blip on the time radar. We completely terraformed the southern part of this continent! and added religion somehow. Surely there's things to say about this. Here in poor. I mean, they would have noticed time-changing 
right under their feet. Okay, great. Uh, how about you? Eh, uh, I'll take some. Sure. At least somebody's on the ball. So he's in a shrine inside this new forest of his. The Robo Forest, even though they're crediting uh, Fiona with it. Oh, right, yeah, it's a jerk. I thought they would have something new to say here, but no, he's still greedy. And that certainly isn't our problem. That couple has nothing new to say. I know, because they talk about old people. But Robo has a shrine dedicated to Fiona! Nice forest you got here, where'd you get it? Ah, they do acknowledge Robo. Wait a second, wouldn't that have changed time then? Surely somebody would have walked up to the robot and go, Hey, what are you doing? Why are you? They are selling things here. Oh, that takes like all of my money. But it is a pretty good helmet. It's the Vigil Hat. The Vigil Hat will, um... Protect you from status effects. That's got from pretty decent defense to boot. It's no Ozzy Pants, I'll tell you that. But I like having Safe Helms, and Haste Helms, and Rebel Helm. Maybe Frog could use it. That'll protect them against status. Like, the Frog. The Frog spell, they got that in that game, right? Wow, Robo's seen better days. Do you mind if we just move your god? We kind of know him personally. So, Robo, how does it feel being 400 years older? You're inside your forest! I think they worship you now? Well, we got a forest now, which means things will be fixed in 1999. And now it's time for his own celebration! You know, guys, we have... We have Chrono's house, and... We got, uh... Poor isn't far from here, we got an epoch. We don't need to camp in the woods. Although this scene has a habit of eating one of your party members, but I think the ROM hacker might have fixed that. Yeah, Lavos. Some other entity? Could it be the planet itself? Having one of those death flashbacks because it has a space flea and no one's helping it? If only I didn't get in the way of that space flea! I mean, maybe. We're gonna have one hell of a flashback, let me tell you. I noticed a little bit of, um, hesitation there, Luca. So you're saying there's something? I like having the entire team here for this chat. I think it happens in the original game, too. But who is the Entity? Actually, it really is. Th 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 that this game never answers that question. It's like the Apple of Enlightenment. People have suspicions the Entity is the player. It's Shala, it's the planet, it, it's destiny, and it's time ghosts. But yeah, let's just camp out here in the woods. I mean, we have perfectly good houses all around us. We even had a cathedral we could stay in. Okay, you're looking a little, um... stir-crazy there. 
Everybody else is sleeping. I'm hearing some earthbound sounds. Frog sleeps funny. Look at him. Most of these are death sprites. At least these four. I'm not quite sure about Robo. Or Magus over here channeling his Dracula. Oh, hey, Time Gate! Where'd you come from? Red Time Gate means good, right? We have the gate key, we could get back. Hmm, this place looks familiar. This is where Ness was sleeping when the meteor fell, yeah! Wow, that's some spooky music. 990 AD, 10 years ago. This is Luca's room. And past Luca hates science? You were anti-science? have to explain that to me. Yeah, this is definitely Luca's house. Okay, thanks, Tobin. I'll use that to open your safe. I'm thinking Luca's family might be rich. At least Lara is up and about. Where the heck did all this machinery come from? Something tells me that's a bad idea. I wouldn't go messing with that. Also, Chrono is here, too. Well, at least you could help her. Get some scissors! Chrono! You, you can help them now! We know a password! Chrono's being useless. Enter password. L-A-R-A! We did it! At least Luca had her purple hair. So, uh, you don't get much time to enter that password. If you don't know what's going to happen, um, you're not gonna like what's going to happen. This little side trip for Luca was all about her mother. If you're not familiar with the story, her mother gets caught in that machine, and it tears her legs apart. She is paralyzed in the original timeline. That's why she's always in that chair. And if you fail here, she will stay paralyzed. Or, well, not quite paralyzed, but her legs don't work. We just fixed that. I don't know if we did a good, Luca. I mean, Luca's mom is okay now. Pretty selfish shenanigans, though. Granted, the Entity did let us do that. That wasn't our time gate. You saw nothing. Well, she was kind of thinking of herself here. By the way, that little balcony up in Luca's room, in, in the past flashback, you can see her mom get caught from there, and you have a lot less time to get that password and put it in. But Robo's got a gift for us! It's a green dream! That's an accessory that works kind of like a fairy. But it uses up our accessory slot, so I don't think I'm actually going to use it. We could probably sell it for a few million, though, Robo. Thanks! But, uh, yeah, Fiona's side quest is actually, uh, well, more of a Luca and a Robo side quest, if you ask me. Speaking of Luca side quests... Oh, wow, 25 minutes already. Yeah, might as well. I have to cut out that rewinding anyway. Surprising no one, Luca's side quest begins in the future. And it's time-related. We have to head to the Sun Palace here in 2300 AD, and we're going to have to change some equipment out. Yeah, this is actually a good setup already. Luca, Chrono, Robo. Her best friend, and the best friend she made. But they're going to need some equipment. She is good, she has her Tobin suit. He needs the red plate, and Robo... 
to make it easier, I'm going to give him the ruby armor. Because it's more defense that way. Because we have to mess with something that was hiding in 12,000 BC. I had to make sure I set the time right. This is the Sun Palace from there. But it's a lot older now. Which means this guy is now manageable. It's the Son of Sun! He is all about the fire damage. He's also a giant roulette boss, and you can't use text on him. You have to guess which fire is the right fire. If you choose the wrong fire, he shoots fire at you. Once in a while, he'll use a big fire spell. And he also has laser beams, but he doesn't use that all that often. As long as you can manage the fire damage, you're pretty golden. But you gotta find out which of these work, and which don't. Protect really helps out here, because you need to keep everything healed. Chrono, that's gonna be easy. He just does receive fire damage. No, that's not the fire either. It has to be one of the two up front. I like to keep Robo in heal duty. So it's either that one, or that one. Selecting is funky sometimes. But if you ever attack the core of the Son of Sun, he counters with the uh, stuff too. Don't let it happen. Oh, we just figured it out! Now we gotta start all over again, thanks. That's certainly not it. He could be at this for a little while. Son of Sun has like uh, 10,000 HP? 12,000 HP. And each of his little flames has 30,000. But this isn't about whittling down his health. It's about getting enough correct hits on him that he gives up. Which I think is about six. Luckily, I have Protect Up on everybody, so that laser doesn't do much damage. If you find the correct flame early, you can just hammer away at it for a little while before he does a shuffle. And you could kind of sight it. Like, you could look at where the flame is, and you might be able to get it. But good effing luck. Frankly, I think it's all about luck. You've got a 1 in 5 chance. Which, of course, increases as you go through fire. Yeah, that's not good. I'm thinking it might be the one on the right. This one here. This is why you bring the fire gear. This is why you avoid fighting him in 12,000 BC. Because he's a lot stronger there. His flare will do, like, about 700 damage to your team. You won't have the Absorb Armors by then. Maybe. And also, his Laser Beam will do about 700 damage. As you have Protect. He's overtuned for people that are doing New Game Plus and want to get a... a whatever he's guarding early. Oh, is it a Moonstone? Is this it? Oh, it's always the last one I choose. And then he shuffles it. Thanks. I don't even know where I sent Luca to attack now. Ah, you got it, Luca! That was sheer luck. Let's hammer away at this thing. The heck with this guy. It kinda sucks. Just gotta say, this... I love... The idea behind the fight? I just don't love to fight. Are you ready to give up yet? I don't think he's ready to give up yet. He's still shooting eye lasers at people. How many times is that now? About six? Maybe seven? I wasn't counting. I was busy rambling. Nope, still going! Another good thing why I have the Haste Helm on Chrono. 
can move a lot faster now. This should do it, right? Ah, he's losing his fire! Which means the battle is over. 12,000 HP, my bud. He's a wuss! Get back here! You need to give us an item. It's important for the side quest. He is the item! It's the Moonstone! So how are we going to be able to recharge this thing? Actually, Robo's a little off. It's like 65,000,000.0021 years. You know, he's a robot. He can't be perfect all the time. Only 99.9999998% of the time. 65 million years is a long time to wait to charge up a stone. So we're gonna head to the same area in 65 million BC. You know what would have been great? Oh, actually the continents did move a little bit. Okay, I was about to say. It would be great if the continents moved because we went back so far in time. So the Sun Keep here was northeast of the Tyranno Lair, which is no longer there anymore. Man, continental drift, am I right? So this is where we place our Moonstone. It's important you do the Moonstone stuff now because it's important for moral side quests later. Right now, Luca's gotta indulge. She gotta do some science. I mean, she resolved to do science to help her mother. So we're heading back to 2300 BC to claim our prize. Up a fully charged sunstone! I'm sure we'll do something. The continents didn't drift very far, did they? Alright, time to get our sun... Where'd it go? But... What, did Oongabungas take it? It was Gastornis, wasn't it? If you brought along Magus, for some reason he knows that it's been about gone for about like 1,300 years. So that puts a slam right into 1,000 AD. And I think we gotta do something 600 AD. Let's go to 1,000 first. Oh, I know it's in 600 AD now. We gotta go do that. I forgot, there's there's something you would absolutely miss if you didn't go to do that first. For some reason or another, yes, the Moonstone is still here, and it's still charging. But there's also a power tab sitting in this cave now. I'm not quite sure why, or why they would assume you would come back to 600 AD. I guess if you're trying to brute force the answer to this puzzle, you would end up in 600 AD eventually. At least we confirmed the stone is there. How about 1000 AD? Was the Ganondorf correct? Yep, it's gone! It's not here either. It's gotta be in 1000 AD somewhere. Well, I guess we gotta start hunting for it. Well, not at Medina. Looks like Melchior didn't get a hold of it. Nope, they're not worshipping at the shrine. That's a little suspicious, though. I did buy that jerky, right? I'm pretty sure I bought that jerky. We've been carrying it around with us. I bought it at the beginning of the video. I should know where it is. Organize. There it is. Spicy jerky! We're gonna need that. Oh, this jerk. Hey, Moonstone. I hate you. Okay! He clearly has the Moonstone. He clearly has it. So if you mess with Luca, we mess with your timeline. Remember the Elder's House? 
Remember that woman looking for jerky? They're related. I have jerky! I can sell it to her for a 100 gold profit, or I can just give it to her for free. Now your children are going to be kind. And your children's children. And your children's children's children. That's right, buddy. We just screwed with your entire upbringing. That's what you get. If Luca could find a way to turn him into a chicken using time travel, she would have done it. And just talk to the new mayor. But he's popular now. His kids love him! He's a great guy! It, it, it was left there for a reason, you know? So he just hands the Moonstone to us. Thank you. Well, I mean, it really doesn't hurt. I've seen the alternative. So this family's a good family. With a cool mayor. Your town budget is in the toilet, but hey, he's nice. Well, that problem is solved, at least. Now we have to head back to the Sun Palace. Of course, we could go back to 65 million BC and just, like, charge it up from there. That would technically do the same thing, wouldn't it? Pick it up in 1000 AD instead of 2300? But nah, we're gonna do this legit. Luca broke the timeline enough. Saved her mother. Changed someone, like, completely. Do not mess with Luca. Now, clearly no one will disturb that for the next 1,000 years. And we got ourselves a Sunstone. Hopefully. Maybe. Ah, good, it's here. Luca just sees this nylon in this power, and she's like, let's make a weapon. She's smart, but you know, she's still just a modern-day Ongabunga. Don't mind all the purple, that's normal. Wow, that was quick. Do you always make weapons that quickly? Success! Now there's four holes in her walls! That's Luca's ultimate weapon, the Wonder Shot. Also, Tobin just stole some of that energy for himself. Dad, I could have made an even stronger gun! Sunglasses are... Uh, okay. They don't protect against blind like they're supposed to. It's just they give you extra percent to all damage. I wonder if that goes with healing, too. Well, I intend on taking Robo to Lava, so might as well. But Luca's got the Wonder Shot now. Sunstone powered. Random damage. Which means this gun either does really crappy damage, or really wonderful damage. And, in plus, there is a way to upgrade it now. We could take that to 1999, and we can even get a more wonderful shot. But we still need to do some side quests here. Fortunately... Hmm, voice crack. Fortunately, it's close. It happens to be right here. The moral side quest. One of the longest side quests you do in the game. So next time on Chrono Trigger Plus, we gotta do stuff with Marl. Good night, folks.